Hey guys, Parker here. I just want to show you a quick tip I learned for doing some emergency fixes on these 4.6 motors, especially when you're replacing the timing chain tensioners and guide rails. Okay, before you do anything, stop. Before you even take a bolt out, I want you to set top dead position on your crankshaft. See this little dot right here? Set that to the 6 o'clock position. If you do it right, your timing marks for the cam will be at the 11 o'clock position on the passenger side and about the 12 o'clock position on the driver's side. Now, let's say you go to take this rail out and for whatever reason you don't secure your cam, like I did, like a jerk, <laughs> and you hear, tick, tick, tick. you hear the cam twisting and it skips teeth on this chain. That ain't good. But I'll show you a way you can fix it on the fly without worry and hassle. You need to count the teeth. You notice how this chain, this mark, falls in between these two pins on the link? That is your number one position. You're going to count the links. One, two, three, four, all the way up to number 30. And if the motor is timed correctly, the number 30 position will fall on the timing mark for the cam exactly in between the two pins. Just like you see here, it'll be the same on the top. And same for this side. You're going to start at the bottom. You count one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 30. And if the motor is timed correctly, the 30th link will be exactly at that notch position on the cam. You got that? Okay, again, start from this, start from this little notch down here. That's your number one link. Count one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 30. And notice, if your chain falls on the timing mark in between links, like right here, for example, that is incorrect. It needs to be right between these two pins. There needs to be exactly 30 links from timing mark to timing mark, counting from the bottom up. Don't worry about the top. Now, that's just a quick way to check, it, make sure your timing is right. I'm sure there are better ways to do it. There are many, many smart people on the forums, a lot smarter than I am. Double check with them, double check your factory service manual, and just do the procedure properly in the first place, and you won't have to deal with all this. I'm Parker. I hope you guys have a good evening.